just enjoy, I'm so grateful to have my own business that I can work from home and not have to take orders from somebody else because I'm a horrible employee. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm the worst employee. I, even my good bosses I resented. You know? How dare they tell me what to do and when I can show up, for, when I have to show up from work. How dare they just because they're paying me <laughs> um, on that. So who else has a deal, success story? How about a failure? You learn something from a failure. Uh oh, Yolanda, you're too, <laughs> we're too enthusiastic about that. No, I'm. I'm just. I'm struggling with this. This cold calling. This. This call reluctance and and the number of of leads that you need to call and it's just, it gets frustrating. No, I'm trying. I'm, I want you to be an egotist, Yolanda. You have a um, close your eyes for a second. You have a million dollars in your pocket. You got all these Benjamin for a giant ball of money, a million dollars in your pocket. Mm-hmm. Okay. Are you going to take any gruff from anybody? Nope. You got a million dollars, lady. Okay. You don't have to, t- and, you know, that's the, the attitude you have to take is not to be a bully or intimidate people, but you've got to believe that you're the doctor and you're calling them up. You're getting back to them. You've got to be a little bit of a, for want of a better word, maybe an egotist to be a great salesperson. You've got to believe that you have the answers, the solutions for other people's problems in real estate. They haven't studied like you have. They haven't had the experience. They haven't read the books. They're not coming to meetings like this. They're not getting licensed. They don't know what you know. You know more than them, and they have the problem. They want to buy, sell, or invest. And you, you have to use that knowledge in an assertive manner. Not to bully them, but instead of being that Q&A where they're the parent yelling at you because you stayed up late on a date or, or something like that, you know, you've got to be the doctor or the professional in the room. What do you, got? What do you think? Absolutely. It's Good. Just well, like but if on the phone, I kind of blank out. <laughs> okay. Well, well, here goes our first role play of the day. Oh, um, no. <laughs> yeah. Well, why should I? You know, Yolanda, there's a lot of real estate agents here in Jersey City. Uh, um, you know, uh, I'm just, I'm, we're still deciding who to hire. Well, you still have the problem. You still have the house. End in a question. Would you like a real estate agent that can sell that house for you? Well, you know, we're talking, we've had five of them call us. One's coming by later today, and now you just called us because uh, of that Craigslist ad we did. Um, why should we work with you? What makes you so special? Uh, because I have creative ways of, of, of selling properties, not just through the, not just the normal traditional route. I can sell ways, sell houses through different ways. Have you ever heard of a lease option? Um, you know, um, yeah, I did. I read a book about that a long time ago. I don't, we, we don't want to do that. We just want to sell our house here and uh, we want to move to Montclair, New Jersey. We want to sell our Jersey City place and move to Montclair. We all do. <laughs> <laughs> Montclair's nice. <laughs> it's nicer than Lake Apacon. <laughs> I just, I just blank out and get stuck somehow. Okay. I, I want you to, oh, I want you to just relax. Okay. Okay. This, you, you know what? You're never going to see these people again. You might as well go down with a fight, go down with a bang. You, you know, right. uh, you just, you, the thing about experience and time that you get, you know, I, the way I am today, I wasn't like this when I was 17, 18, 19. I was a little chicken shit with a blanket over my head. Okay. Right. But when you get to that level of confidence where you say, hey, you're making a mistake, reverse the role. You do it to me now. Ask me that same question. Why should I work with you? Or, Why you know, should I work with you, Claude? You know, you know, Yolanda, can I call you Yolanda? I'm Claude. Maybe you shouldn't work with me. I only work with people who want to get top sales price for their house and do it in an ex- expeditious manner. That means quick. That isn't what you're looking for. You want to fool around interviewing agents. And, getting, and, and having all these people come around instead of getting your house sold. Because that's what I do. I get houses sold. Do you know I'm one of the highest paid? Do you know I get the highest commission in Jersey City? Hmm. I don't know if you're looking for it. You're not looking for a discount broker, are you? Absolutely not. I'm looking oh. to get it sold. Oh, good. That's what I do. I get it sold. 
and I'll tell you what I'll do. What's your favorite? Why don't I come over tonight with a, with a pizza for you and your significant other, a bottle of wine. I'll lay out, a, I got a business plan. I'll lay it out for you and I'll show you how we can market this home and get some results in the next 30 to 60 days. Is it worth a free dinner? Sounds, sounds good. That's the best decision you've made. I really appreciate you. I really appreciate your time. I will see you at 6 or 6.30. 6 is good. With or without anchovies? Without. Okay. See you later. <laughs> um, no, don't copy my style. I if you want, go ahead. But I, somebody's got to be the authority in the room and lead them. They don't know what they're doing. That's why they're looking for an agent. They want your leadership. They want, don't give them just Q&A oh, with all your knowledge and be subservient to them. You've got to say, you're making a mistake. This is why I'm the top agent. This is why I get the highest commission. This is why I, people come to me. This is why I've been in the business 20 years. Okay. You've got to persuade them so that they come back to you. And this is cold calling Craigslist or whatever. You've got to sound, I want you to sound as different. You're going to flip a switch. You're going to become an actor, an actress. Okay. I can say actor now. It's supposed to be the unisexual or whatever, bisexual or whatever the word is. <laughs> But it, which word is it? <laughs> I'll be an actor. I'll be an actor. No, no you gotta problem. you got to be an actor. Somebody, you call somebody, they call you. You flip the switch. And you take on that role right there. And instead of being very nice and polite and soft-spoken, Yolanda, I want you to be... All right. I want you to be bigger in life with a million dollars in your pocket. Put that in your head. So when you call somebody and you get them on the phone, hi, why are we talking today? Boom, boom, boom. That, that's the way you want to go about it. And they, when they get off the and there's only one thing that should be in your mind. What do they think about you when they get off the phone? That's a strong real estate agent there. That, that is the, that. She is the lady I want to work with. I like her. I trust her. She knows what she's talking about. I'm finally getting someone who speaks to me like I'm intelligent and not just giving me that old boring script and that same old tired language. You want them, you want to create a memory in their mind, to paint a picture, help them to paint a picture in their head that makes you unique. And then follow up right away with an email, with a video, with a text, whatever system you have in place. Mm -hmm. and, make sure you, and the goal is, of course, to set up another hard appointment. If it's going to be from your office, get it on video. Right. To have this thing going for you, like we're doing right now, or get a Take them, bring over a pizza, big deal, or, some, or even the fact that you just invited them for dinner or you're willing to bring over something to eat. What does that say to them? How many people do that? Nobody, right? Don't, right. What does that mean? Or you handwrite a thank you note to them. There's something, little things like this that make you unique. And if you're consistent in this, you get a higher response rate. Right. I'll get off my soapbox now. I'm sorry. I hear you now. Thank you. <laughs> thank On that. So. Yeah. I'll keep working at it. Sounds good. Who's up? I haven't given up. <laughs> okay, Claude, Claude, I know we've talked about this before, so what do you say? Uh, I'm not interested, Claude. You know, my wife said the same thing. I'm on honeymoon. <laughs> she hates that. <laughs> Jesus, when, when you have a dramatic or a, a situation where it's getting tense, or they're just being nasty. We meet, we meet FNAs. I'm, you guys know what that means, so I don't have to say it. Flaming nuclear, you know the A. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. You get, you get people like that sometimes. And when you get people like that, the only way to diffuse the situation is humor. Do a joke. Make a, make a joke about yourself or something, you know? Uh, <laughs> you know, this is one of those days. My dog even, my 20-year-old dog bit me this morning. It's been one of those days, sir, so I don't blame you for jumping all over me, but you still have a problem. Then you bring it back again. Yeah. Laughter, there is no defense from the prospect when you have laughter. Yeah. So use that. And you can't sell everybody anyway, Steve. You're going to yeah. get some people, the deal is not there, the numbers are wrong, they're unreasonable, they don't have the down payment, the money, the, or whatever. The only thing you might get is respect, at least yeah. for yourself, if not from them. Yeah. Only, you know what Yolanda said before, you know why we don't make all the, why we don't talk to as many people, why we're resistant or we're hesitant or we say, gee, I better wash the car before I make those five calls Claude told me to do today. It's because it's uncomfortable for us. Right. It's uncomfortable. And who wants to do something that's not fun? 